G'day everyone, this is going to be a quick mailbag, um, there's a couple of parcels that I want to go through here. One of them uh, is from a forum member on Do It Yourself Stompboxes forum, and the other one's actually just from Tada, something that I've ordered myself. But um, uh, I've got a few other packages coming in, but I just wanted to do these two um, to show you the board from, um, uh, from uh, Mike from the um, Do It Yourself Stompbox forum. If you'd like to send something in, if, you've got, if you're a PCB maker or a... Um, uh, manufacturer or a retailer of pedal parts, anything to do with anything to do with guitar pedals. Really, if you want to send it in, send it in to Do It Yourself Guitar Pedals, PO Box One Eight One, Park Orchards, Vic Three One One Four. So let's have a look at what's in these packages. So this top one is from Mike, um, uh, AKA Ro. Um, I'm not sure how you'd say that. Tyree, um, that's his name on um, on the Do It Self Stomp Box forum. If you want to look him up, he actually he can uh, etch PCBs. Pretty sure he can solder mask as well. Um, he can design um, PCBs for you. He can uh, even help you with uh, the designing of effects as well. So um, if you need someone to um, you know basically like a a consultant, I guess you could say. Um, uh, he can help you out. You see, uh, from my from talking to him, he seems very knowledgeable about um, all things to do with um, guitar pedals. So uh, yeah, give him a um, give him a shout if you're after something. He should be able to help you out. Ask him for a price if you want something done. Um, yeah, he seems um, seems quite knowledgeable. Now this PCB is actually for the um, the Dead Astronaut um, project. And you can find that on the Do It Yourself Stomp Box forum. Um, there is a, a thread that I'll leave a link to in the comments that you can find. And it uses the belt and brick. I mentioned that last time um, um, on my last mailbag video. And um, that's why I brought the belt and brick for this, um, for this, uh, this project. Now, I'm uh, kind of speechless, to be honest. This, this board looks absolutely fantastic. He makes these himself, and um, you can see... Uh, as I said, probably the solder mask. Well, yes, he does a solder mask as well. Check that out. That's done. That's not manufactured. That's done by hand. That's it's pretty impressive, if you ask me. Uh, I, I like the even the line spacing and everything. It's yeah, it's quite fine and um, it, it looks looks very good. So yeah, this is for the dead astronaut reverb, which is based on the um, the box of hall. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up building this um, effect up, and I'm, I'll give you a demo of what it sounds like when it's done. You can actually see it again. I'll leave I'll leave another link. You can see dead astronaut's version of this um, uh, of this effect. If you want to see his demo of the pedal, um, I'll do mine eventually as soon as I get on top of some of this stuff. Um, and yeah, I'll do a sound demo and all that, and um, and show you what it sounds like. But that's a pretty damn good looking board if you ask me. I'm just um, uh, examining it at the moment and it, um, it looks very good. So yeah, make sure you give, um, make sure you give um, R.O. Tari a, um, or Mike a, um, a PM through Do It Yourself Stomp Boxes. If you need something done, he can, um, he can make you up boards like that look just like this, as good as this. Very nice. As Emmett Brown would say, I'm back from the future. Um, this is the unwell Paul from the future, and um, yeah, I've got my I've got all these videos recorded weeks in advance of um, when I upload them. I've actually got about 15 in the queue, um, so I'm just cutting in um, on this video because I just want to mention. Well, that's the actual completed build. More about that later. Um, but there will be a giveaway, um, and it will be in a few weeks. Uh, first, there'll be the build report, then there'll be the sound demo, and then there'll be the giveaway so um yeah make sure you subscribe for that it's coming up soon and uh more details about that um you know in in a couple of weeks time now pass you back to the healthy pull from two weeks ago so this one's from tada and i usually don't put in the things that i've bought from the retailers it's usually just stuff that they want um they want to add in to show you know for me to specifically sort of examine and show you but uh, uh there's a bit of an exception for this because um, uh, Tata just recently uh, started stocking um, uh, breadboards, and I thought for a lot of you guys that are, that want to learn about guitar pedals and and start on the journey, um, you pretty much uh, a, a breadboard 
for learning a breadboard is pretty and, and experimenting a breadboard is pretty much essential. So um, I just thought I'd buy one and see what the quality was like because uh, I've only got one anyway, and I wouldn't mind actually having two. So let's have a look. I also ordered a few other things, and I'll explain what they are as well. Um, so that's the breadboard. Let's check that out first. There's some hookup wire too, which I'm going to compare to the to the hookup wire that I usually. Gee, it looks quite thick. Anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm not, yeah, I thought that was the I may have ordered the wrong thickness there, but um, yeah, I'll check it out in a sec. So that's the um, it's just a retail package um, uh, breadboard by the looks of it, uh, and. Um, the um, the plastic doesn't exactly look white. It kind of looks um looks like the plastic that you get for stuff that's glow in the dark. It's got a bit of a green sort of tinge. Not a good start, but anyway, let's get it out and have a look. It's got some uh, matrix kind of um, labels around the outside there, um, which is probably handy, I guess. But uh, I've never sort of really needed them, but um, could be handy. These are really cheap too. They're only um. I think it was about five bucks actually. I'll just check the um, invoice. I'm pretty sure it was five bucks. To be precise, it was three dollars ninety. So that's actually quite cheap. So if these are any good, they might be worth um, might be worth you grabbing one. You know, like when you're doing your auto, if you need a need a second breadboard or you just want a new breadboard or something, um, might be worth a go. I'll just grab a few components and see how they fit into these um, into the sockets. So here's a pretty standard sort of component, very thin-legged um, uh, 1K resistor. It feels like there's pretty good contact. Don't exactly want to rip it to pieces because I'm, I'm going to end up um, using it, but um, the contacts don't feel. It, it's going to it's going to be it's going to be a test over time. Um, if you start getting faults with the um, breadboard, uh, it could be you know you might find that. Um, that they're no good down the track, but um, uh, on first impression, it doesn't feel too bad. I just get something with a bit, a bit more of a heavier sort of lead on it, and see if that fits okay. So here's a um, Mojo carbon composite, and um, it's got a pretty big, uh, pretty thick sort of um, lead on it. So um, yeah, I mean, it fits, it fits okay. Once you get bigger than that, though, it's not going to fit. But that's mainly due to the plastic. But I mean, like, what sort of test can you do to, to test a breadboard anyway? I mean, you have to have it for a while and test and use it for a while to, to work out whether it's um, any good or not. But anyway, I mean, you can get those on Tata. They're $3.90, so they're very cheap. And, um, uh, yeah, I actually like that, how it's got the blue and, and red line. My other one doesn't have anything on those two lines. And um, I took a Sharpie to it and put black and, and red across the top and the bottom because... Um, uh, you know, like sometimes it get a bit confusing. I, I generally put the negative on the on. Uh, actually, I've got the negative on the inside on both inside um, on my other breadboard, but this one's actually got it below. So yeah, it's just however you however you fancy um, however you fancy setting it up. So the real test is going to be um, how it goes over time. So it's kind of not really conclusive. Just looking at the thing, I have to use it for quite a while. But um, anyway. If you want to see physically what they look like, um, you know, you can probably get a better idea through this video than you'll get um, from the photos on the um, on the Tadar website. And so the other thing was the hookup wire, and this is um, this hookup wire is definitely thicker than the stuff that I usually get. And I'm actually amazed that it's a AWG 22 because I use I wasn't quite sure whether it was 22, 24, 26. Um, that I usually use, it must be 24, but I can tell you that this is much thicker than the stuff that I usually usually use. It's um it's actually quite heavy gauge, and once again I buy heavy gauge wire that I'm just not going to use. But um, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe for offboard wiring or something. But it's just another um, it's just a, a another um uh, heavy gauge wire that I'm probably gonna just chuck in the box and not use. Gee, the, the plastic's very stiff too, like you can, it almost feels like solid core, you can, <laughs> like, it's just, it's, um, it's, it's very stiff. Um, but yeah, I don't know, do you use, do you use this, um, Tadar wire? Do you, do you use AG, um, W24, uh, AWG24? It's a very personal thing wire, some people like it, some people don't, but, um, 
I'm not convinced with this. I think next time I order some uh, some components, I'll just order one length of AWG24 and um, give that a go and see if it's um, see if it's any better. But this stuff's uh, the plastic's sort of a bit stiff and the gauge is too thick as well. But that may that may have been my fault. I'll have to um, have to look into that anyway. And the other thing is just a few capacitors and some um, BC8. Four, seven C's, which are actually going to go into some SMD boost kits that I'm putting together for the um, for the uh, Mad Bean and the Do It Self Stop Box trade section. Um, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in a practice SMD kit. They will be um, on on the um, on those two trade sections. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be posting that um, that shortly. I'll just show you the board. Actually, um, I'll show you the board that I've that I've got for them. Uh, from where else but OSH Park, which is sort of like the one, I'll just zoom in on it, sort of like the one that I showed you last time, except um, this one doesn't have errors on it, <laughs> which which helps. Yeah, that those two big pads with the two lines down the side near my thumb is actually the uh, IN4001. Uh, and yeah, I used the wrong, um, the wrong pads for it last time. It was the wrong one. There's a few other little errors, like I mentioned that the um, transistor was on the wrong way as well, which was apparently a a doozy for for people new to SMD, and it, it certainly got me into the trap. But anyway, that's the boards. Um, I'll be making up a few kits if you want to give SMD a try. Not as hard as I thought it would be. Um, even with pretty sloppy soldering, I still managed to um, get it working quite well. So um, if I can do it, you can do it. I'm pointing at the camera there. You you on the other side of the computer screen, you can do it. So anyway, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, just a few things that I've bought and a um, PCB from from Mike. Give him a bell if you need anything to do with PCBs or design. Um, yeah, he'll be able to help you out and, um, and keep an eye out for the video where I build up the board with the belt and brick. I've heard a lot of great things about the belt and brick and my ears are impressed with what I'm hearing um, from demos on uh, YouTube so I'm looking forward to putting that one together. Thanks for watching again and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more do-it-yourself stomp box tutorials, demos and uh, all that sort of jazz. Thanks for watching.